You're listening to The Long Game Podcast. I'm your host, Sandra Scaiano. One of my favorite quotes is, you don't have to be who you were yesterday. This goes for mothers and business owners and anyone who has made some mistakes along their life's path and pretty much everyone who is working on growing. You know, this past, these past weeks of summer, I have realized who I have become and realized that it is actually healing that has transpired. So I'm sharing a personal story with you on the podcast this week. Thanks for being here. You're listening to The Long Game Podcast with Sandra Scaiano. In a world where everyone is doing, it's easy to get lost in a sea of comparison, secret tricks, and promises of overnight success. The long game is my approach to business, the actual day in and day out philosophy that you have to show up, you have to do the work, and there's no quick fixes for long-term success. I'm a web designer, digital strategist, and energetic thinker, and I'm here to share the process and lessons I experience with my clients daily who are going through the same struggles of building a business as you are. We'll hear from successful entrepreneurs sharing their long game strategies, and I'm fun, so we're going to have a little fun along the way too. Thanks for being here. Let's get to today's episode. Back in 1980, I played rec soccer in my town. You know, I remember the specifics about my team, the gold, really bold t-shirts we had. I wore white shorts and knee-high tube socks with the big yellow stripe on them. You know, another memory from those times is coming off the field at halftime. You know, we're hot from running all over. And one of the moms passed out fresh quartered oranges. And they were always the most delicious oranges. Like, I distinctly remember these oranges. Like, so vibrant in color and juice. And, you know, I loved how refreshing the flavor was, you know, tasting different besides water. And at the time, there was like this sugary surge of vitamins that came from them when we were, you know, in need. And I always thought those were the most amazing moms, you know, the ones who brought oranges for the whole team. You know, they cared for all of us in those days. Well, my mom never brought the oranges. And um, I kept playing soccer through the years. And as I got older, I was invited to join the travel soccer team. but. I had to decline because my parents couldn't drive me everywhere. And, you know, I'm sure there were some reasons. And, you know, but I remember that being on the team, like, that wasn't even an option in my mind. You know, and as I think back, I'm not even sure if I told my parents, like, I don't even know if I asked my parents about it because I just knew, like, they weren't driving me everywhere I needed to go, you know? So I distinctly remember having to say no to joining. And now, you know, this story isn't a bashing of my parents' story. It's actually taken me a long time to be able to share parts of my story that my parents, who are still alive, may hear and may not like my memories or maybe even remember it differently and just had their reasons for why it was that way back then, right? But like, it's still my story. (laughs) And, you know, them isn't the focus here. It's, you know, the fact that I still had those feelings of missing out or not being taken care of, you know, that have lived with me all these years, you know, and in our childhood, it isn't just one thing, right? Things get compounded over time and it's many things. Today, though, this story it all kind of just came together full circle. So I'm able to share this, you know, and kind of just being left to my own devices and in this way is probably why I've excelled in business because, you know, I was independent at a young age. You know, I was getting myself places. I got myself to practice or I rode my bike to work at my first job at Carvel and rode home with bags of ice cream for everybody. But, you know, the full circle piece, I have come full circle. Like being a business owner has really been driven by a time freedom, right? 
a time freedom where I can take my kids wherever they need to go, um, whenever they need to go. I can create my schedule to accommodate that. You know, one of my core values is that freedom equals creativity. You know, I value the freedom in my time so that my kids can be creative in their endeavors and so that they can really dive into their endeavors and they don't have to worry about this heaviness or have to say no unless it's really what they want to say. So this summer has been hot. And, you know, now I have come full circle on becoming the best mom, the most amazing mom in my childhood eyes. You know, I now bring the fruit to the steamy summer games for the whole team. And it's funny because the first time I packed the cooler with water and ice and fruit, my daughter was like, don't bring that. Why are you bringing that big cooler? And of course, her tune changed. They all loved it. And now she's she's always saying, don't forget, get more fruit. So you really get to choose who you become. You know, we all have these things that we carry forward from our past and, you know, we work to overcome. Sometimes they stay dormant for a while and then they pop back up and we work on them then, right? You know, we are pretty much constantly always working on ourselves one way or another. And even if it's denial, like you're still kind of working on yourself because you know it's there, right? So how this work manifests, well, you know, that can be in a myriad of ways. And, you know, at any time, so even decades later, right? You know, and a lot of times in my past work on myself, I have really focused on letting go. Like that's a big one for me. If I can let go of the emotions, that in itself is a freedom, you know, and a moving away from the past. And this doesn't always look pretty on the outside looking in or even make sense to others. And it, and it doesn't have to, right? It's your own personal journey. But there is also the ability to do things differently, you know, things that are within your power. So it's the letting go. And then it's a rerouting of the energy and making things the way you want them to be. You know, creating experiences that you want to have or you want those around you to have. Like that is you know, part of moving away. You can let it go, but then you can also shift and in your actions and act differently. You know, so for me, the driving and the fruit at games is all part of the greater healing from my childhood. You know, I have realized that my presence in the life of my family, as I'm living it now, is very different than how it was with my parents um, for me as a child. And with that comes the breaking of the cycles. You know, you don't have to be who you were yesterday. You know, you can be stronger now. You can be smarter now. And you can have boundaries now and let all of this show up in your life in ways that may seem small, but really are big shifts. You know, it took me until I was in my 40s to name and truly process some of the things that I experienced as a child. And I'm still connecting it all. You know, one part has been release and letting go. You know, I have moved on from having to reconcile with any individuals and have moved through to making deliberate change in my actions for the next generation, right? Like I am stopping whatever happened because that's, it's going to be different this time around, you know? And as I write this, And to present, like, I realized that all this time I am healing. So, um, you know, I opened up a card deck for some, you know, inspiration as I was working on this podcast episode. And I I opened the um, Danielle Laporte uh, Truth Bomb deck. And when did you know it? The top card on the deck, right as I opened it, was people heal in big, bold letters. So, you know, the universe, you are always working your ways, right? But it's true. We are healing beings and we are able to make decisions, account for our actions and be deliberate in ways 
that are different than what we have experienced. So thanks for listening and letting me share more of my story here and more of myself here. Our stories are who we are and our processing of them, of those stories is who we become. So I wish you all a great week of insight. Thanks for joining me today. You can access more info in the show notes at thelonggamepodcast.net. If today's show connected with you in some way, please share it with your friends or hop on iTunes and leave me a review. Until next time, keep playing the long game. This podcast is part of the Sound Advice FM network. Sound Advice FM, women's voices amplified.